Hi, Alex here from Rebeloper.com and in this episode of our advanced calendar tutorials I am going to show you some of the basics and most important SK actions and after that we are going to use them and we are going to create some extensions. So without further ado, let's get started. things first and this is very important we are doing this all of the time in each each day of our video tutorial series but it is quite important and that is to commit and push our files to our github repository and after that creating a new branch for the current day this is how you should do it when you create new features into your app or you just want to test out new things so while that is done in this episode i'm going to show you what sk actions are and why you we want to use them and why i love them so much so let's say we want to add some animations to our sk scenes now while there is an option to add framed animations that means that you go through a set of images and maybe loop them forever but the way you should do that is through sk actions and let me just give you a little hint a little uh, presentation of an sk action and that will be the fade animation and let's go to our main menu scene and after we have added our play button okay uh, let us just comment out this log all available fonts because we don't need that anymore so let us create a new sk action so let okay and that will be an sk action of course and now if you go ahead and give it a dot and start typing in fade and this is what you get fade out with duration and uh, let it be a longer duration period so we may see it in action so i would just put in here five seconds so zero uh, five point zero and now we want to run this sk action on a node and that will be our uh, play button so play button run and here we have action and that will be our fade button out okay and that is how simple it is to let's say add a fade out animation but we have a lot more so let us just jump to definition here and you will see that there are a fade or alpha set texture uh, fade in repeat forever group sequence scale scale x scale y and rotate and so we'll move to so there are a lot of sk animations that you can use and we will talk about some of them not all of them but some of them i believe the most important of them in this episode so let us just build and run and see how this play button will fade out over the duration of five seconds okay let's wait and as you can see the play button is slowly fading out and disappearing okay good stuff let's just stop this and let us just comment out we don't want to fade out the play button because we want the user to be able to play our game this was just a simple example now i have prepared for you a much larger project and if you go ahead and take a look at your act resources you will see an sk actions mania.swift file and here we have a bunch of sk actions and i have set this uh, up to be as an extension of a sprite node well we have down here an extension of the sk label node but it is basically the same so we have here some functions so we can use these sk actions as one group or maybe a sequence we will talk about that later on to our sprite nodes so let us just copy this 
extensions out so one extension i will just copy the label extension too let's copy and finally add them to our extension let's see if we do have we don't have a sprite a node extension nor a label node extension so we can just simply paste that under here let us just build now and see if there is something wrong we need to import sprite kit here let's build again and see if we do get any errors well it seems like we do have oh sorry about that i have added all of this in the wrong place okay let's copy that out and we need to add it outside of any parentheses okay let's build now and everything looks okay build has succeeded now let's go over each and every one of them okay and here we have the first one is our pop-up so we want to pop up after a certain time and in a sequence with a sequence number because maybe we want to pop more buttons and as you can see we have already two buttons on our main menu so i will just use this pop-up to pop up the add play button uh, the play button and the settings button so first of all play button dot pop up let's just build a play button and we need to grab the sprite node of our play button so play button dot button and now we can type in pop up and there you go and if we wanted to have more something like this will be the first pop-up so it will just pop up immediately now for the second one we want to uh, settings button button we want to have a little delay so i will just use the pop-up after and um, let's see after one second and the sequence number will be two so this will be the second button that will pop up well the the sprite node of uh, our settings button so let's see this in action and it will be a good one see one and the second one pretty good stuff and i will leave this as is and let's just go back to our extension and see how all of this works and let's see about actions so first of all we have some durations set up here 0 0.2 0 0.06 and we have our total time of pop-up animation and this is crucial because if we set the sequence number to two or three so we want to wait for the other pop-ups to finish first so this is why we need the total time of pop-up animation so the first one is that we scale our sprite node to zero so we scale it down so it will be invisible and uh, duration will be 0, 0.0 so immediately our second action is to wait for the other uh, pop-ups to finish and of course if this is the first one we will not wait at all so we are going to use wait for duration and this is also an SA action so not only uh, we scale move our uh, sprite nodes we can also wait for our duration and the second action is a scale and the third is also a scale so we want to make that bouncy animation through the fifth action and now we want to use a sequence now a sequence is <laughs> what it says a sequence of actions one after the other so we use the sequence action zero action one two three four five and after that we run our sequence of course on self because this is an extension of our sk sprite node now the pop down is uh, virtually the same but it is in reverse of course we have an after so we may wait a few seconds or maybe more or less and of course we have our sequence number implemented here too now the bounce is a little bit different because we are not going to scale down at the zero uh, second so immediately we are not scaling it down we are just bouncing it okay and this bounce is just a little bounce of um, let's see here well maybe maybe a total of uh, half a second okay 
Now a bounce lock button is another way. These are all just uh, tiny little fractions of differences between the bounces and the bounce cookie. I have uh, set this up from our uh, anti-candy crunch uh, extension. So next up we have our rotate. Now the rotation has a speed. Well, the speed is kind of the second that kind of the time interval that it goes through a whole loop and the clockwise is of course clockwise or counterclockwise so if it is bull then it will be clockwise and if it is false then it will be counterclockwise so we add the speed here and what we do here is calculate our angle and if it is clockwise then we have this minus pi and if it is not then we don't have it because we have a positive and we are rotating forever and that is that we use a repeat forever sk action and inside of that we need to give another sk action so inside an action another sk action that is pretty cool and we use the rotate by angle of course and we provide the angle and the duration and uh, we uh, need to convert this integer into a time interval and of course we uh, run go ahead and type it in and see how all of this works out and, and play with the speed and maybe the clockwise counterclockwise now we here we have a swing innovation it is kind of the same but now it starts and goes according to the angle given to the clockwise and on the counter clockwise again and of course it repeats forever again next up we have the slide and this is pretty awesome because we have our move by sk action so it moves by a certain distance and we can move by an x value and we can move by a y value of course uh, this repeats again forever and here you can see as I have noted before we have a sequence because we slide all the way and we slide another way back uh, and we need to do that in a sequence so we may repeat this sequence forever and of course here we have our fade up uh, it is the other way around of our fade down okay and finally uh, not to brag more about it i will just show you our pop-up animation for our sk label node it is the same but now we use this on an sk label node so after you put a dot uh, after an sk label node this will appear i just added this here so you may see that all of this is possible through uh, sk label knots too so well sk actions work on all type of knots okay go ahead and play with all of these actions and i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to see more videos of me through uh, talking about all of these ios cool stuff and i hope to see you in the next one